Well, I got some notes to share with you all from one of yesterday's, actually yesterday's only session after we left Cabo, anchored up, set sail north back to California. We're off the coast of Mexico right now. We don't get back till tomorrow, but we did a really cool thing with some sort of an open panel discussion between everybody. And it was basically just talking about our morning rituals, the, the first things that we do right out of bed to set up our day. And I wrote down all the unique ones that anybody said. So, and there's quite a few of them. So I'm going to go through them all and ad lib wherever I feel like it. So, and as you're listening to these, I recommend getting out something that you can just jot down things to do because you're going to hear stuff where it's like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I should modify my daily morning ritual to have a better day. I know I did. So here goes. Morning rituals. Um, a lot of people said they give thanks, they give gratitude, they just have that moment in the morning where they're thankful for stuff. Stretching, that's a good one. Uh, private prayers, a lot of people pray. Uh, a glass of water, uh, go to the gym, work out. Uh, medicinal mushrooms, they had to make sure they were talking about medicinal mushrooms. <laughs> the group broke out into laughter. She originally just said mushrooms, and everyone's like, what kind of magic shrooms? <laughs> She got very specific medicinal ones. Uh, coffee, of course, a lot of people. So we were very honest. We included, you know, the things we do that aren't so healthy in it, um, along with the healthy things that we do. Church, some people go to church, I guess, first thing in the morning. Um, consistency, uh, whatever it was, it was pretty consistent. Uh, scream at my kids, it's another honest moment. <laughs> first thing someone does in the morning is scream at their kids, that's great. Meditation, take the dog out. A lot of people in my neighborhood who start out with taking the dog out. Uh, wake up without an alarm clock, that sounds like me. Uh, shower, uh, warm water, just feeling the warm water over the body. Someone said they just love that first thing in the morning. Uh, reflect on the day beforehand and what to learn from those reflections. Remember what my body felt like at age 16 and tell my body to remember how it felt at 16. This came from an older person. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. After all, it is anti-aging. Um, check Facebook. <laughs> a lot of people put that down, including me. I make a smoothie. Uh, Write out what's bothering, one person said uh, she likes to wake up first thing in the morning, write out what's bothering her, process that. Uh, write down five things that happened to me um, and start processing that and reflect on that and what to learn from that and what to change and make better. Um, model after people who are successful, so that could be you know, reading an autobiography of somebody who's very successful or or a training by somebody who's very successful, or maybe learn the, the to-do list or the daily morning rituals of other people who are, who are successful, who publish that kind of stuff. Breakfast, <laughs> the obvious one, first thing in the morning, right? Uh, one person who said pray, like a lot of people said pray, but one person got even more specific, and she included in her prayers, she never asks for anything. She only has prayers of gratitude and thankfulness, and she has kids, and she teaches her kids to never pray by asking for things, but to only pray by uh, stating what they're gra grateful for and thankful for. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, listen to a lecture. Some people like to start off their day listening to lectures. Sometimes I do. Uh, sit in silence. I guess that could be more meditative to just sit in silence first thing in the morning. Um, one person, this is really cool. She likes to start uh, by these breathing exercises that she does. And she says once she starts to salivate in her breathing exercises, uh, it's the salivating that engages the parasympathetic nervous system. And so she breathes to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And this benefits uh, resting, or the benefits of this are you get better rest, your digestive health is better. Um, I can't read my own handwriting. Benefit is rest, digestion, and... I wrote something else down. I can't read my own handwriting. So 
the rest, digestion, and there's a third one that I can't read because my handwriting sucks so bad. But getting better rest and digestive, but a healthier digestive system is certainly cool. Uh, she said, she, oh yeah, here's her technique. She does three counts on the inhale, 10 on the outhale, will lower her blood pressure. That was from another person. So three counts in, 10 counts out, will lower the blood pressure. And she recommends either laying down or she likes to sit upright when she does that particular breathing exercise. And it could last anywhere from a minute to several minutes. Um, another person said she starts the day the night before by forgiving anyone that she needs to forgive or that she's angry or upset with. So this person starts out her day the day before or the night before by forgiving everyone that she needs to forgive before she goes to sleep. Uh, it sounds like a release to me so that she can have a good night's sleep. Um, she also likes to create her goals and her to-do list the night before. That's something that I do. Uh, floss, brush, mouthwash, good morning ritual, floss, brush, mouthwash. Uh, eight ounces of water per hour, another person shared. Uh, one of the PhDs shared this with us. Eight ounces of water uh, per hour is perfect to uh, to maintain the, the hydration balance. Like you can have too much water, you can have too little water, and you might have um, you might not be drinking water at a, an even pace throughout the day and right balance. Like somebody might have a gallon of water for an hour and then go the next several hours without anything. Well, they had that gallon of water, but it wasn't dispersed evenly throughout the day. So the perfect rate is about eight ounces of water every hour throughout the day maintains the perfect level of hydration. I thought that was cool. I'd never heard anybody say that before. Also, um, eight hours uh, at night. I'm sorry, what am I, eight hours at night? I'm trying to read my own handwriting still. Uh, eat foods, natural foods, that are concentrated in trace minerals at night. It has something to do with the buildup of uh, bone density and skeletal health. You get most of your trace minerals at night because then you rest, and it's when you rest, your brain activates the growth hormone, um, which helps with the skeletal health and the bone rebuilding and, and other things too. I thought that was interesting. I never heard that before. So focus more on foods and train trace minerals at night so that uh, your body releases the growth hormone, which only happens at sleep and you get better sleep. And the skeletal recovery happens during that time. And vitamins during the first half of the day. And I wasn't able to write down fast enough as to why that was important, but vitamins at, mostly during the day and foods with trace minerals mostly at night. And that's all my notes from that particular session. So my morning ritual personally, and some things I will definitely incorporate or maybe modify as I go over this list of other things that I thought was pretty cool. I personally like to wake up, fill my lungs with air a few times, full inhales, full exhales, so I can have full inhales. And that starts to get the metabolism going, circulation, and I'll stretch and I'll stretch with the breathing. I'll do mostly open chest stuff, open heart stuff to just get my heart going and my blood and, and fill my air with lungs and get things oxygenated. And then from there, typically I will have a glass of water with um, the juice of fresh squeezed organic lemons, some cayenne pepper powder, and a tablespoon or so of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Mix it up and drink it. Pretty good. Maybe a half hour later, 40 minutes later, I will have my superfood blend and you can either comment or private message me for the link for that and you can check it out see if you want to incorporate it. it's pretty awesome i've been doing it for a long long time years and years and um what else do i do um in this order I floss then i brush my teeth and then uh, mouthwash fluoride free xylitol based mouthwash all natural what else do I do in the morning? Oh yeah, and, and my morning sort of starts the night before, actually. I'll make my to-do list very goal-oriented, or goal-driven, I should say, purpose-oriented, and my goals wrap around the purpose. Um, so I'll write that stuff out the, the night before. And if there's anything mentally that I have to release, this is something I actually need to do a better job of. So hearing other people talk about that and writing it down in my notes is something that I can 
um, modify going forward for self-improvement, I suppose. If there's somebody i got to forgive or something i got to let go of before I go to sleep, I should probably put some conscious thought into that. Maybe get even better night's sleep. And I already sleep pretty good as it is. Uh, and so those are going to be my personal morning. Oh, yeah. And also get on Facebook. Definitely a morning ritual. And what do I do when I'm on Facebook? I'll make sure I put some kind of comment out there. I'd like to find a few people to encourage, some kind of positive encouragement. And I put some kind of content out there, whether it's something natural healing based or just a good morning or something residual income based that protects people and their families. Um, some kind of positive uh, content I'll put out there. And I'll also, I'll go through a certain number of people that I like to invite into my business every day. So that's also a morning ritual on Facebook. A certain number of people to invite into my business, post some awesome positive comment that people can hopefully get a benefit from, and maybe even expand my circle. So that's my Facebook morning ritual. I think you have my entire morning ritual now. And from there it changes. But those are the things I do consistently, and that's important too. In my mornings, uh, the ritualistic part starts the night beforehand with the to-do list and, and things like that. So there you have it. There's more sessions today. Stick around because I'll be taking more notes from what I learned today with the anti-aging group, natural health, natural healing. And I promise to share it all with you in these live feeds with the sound of the ocean and the backdrop. See, if I wait till I get back home to do this, then you won't have the sound of the ocean in the backdrop and the view. And check that out. This is gorgeous. So I will end this particular live feed with the panoramic panning of the camera out here. And feel free to share this, guys. This is to be shared for sure. Alright, you can look forward to more from more sessions later today. Bye for now. Mwah.